What do you do if a family member doesn't want to sign the consent form for probate? Well, I can answer that. Hi, folks. I'm attorney Ryan Sice. I own my own law firm, and all I do is help families with probate right here in New Mexico. So let's jump in. If they don't want to sign because they don't want anything to do with it, so they're going to say, dude, I don't even, don't even bother mailing it to me. I'm not signing. You guys deal with that. Um, I don't want anything, anything to do with that stuff. And then you're probably thinking, wait a minute, the court needs everyone to sign it. Consent. The will even says, I'm in charge. I just need the other siblings to sign the consent. And then I got one brother that doesn't want anything to do with anything. Doesn't even want to want inheritance from the person that died. You know, what do I do? What do I do? This is what you do. You contact a probate lawyer and you have them sign, uh, send that brother that doesn't want anything to do with the process, send him a waiver of inheritance, rights to inheritance. So just they're waiving their right to inheritance. They don't want to be part of the process. They don't want to have nothing to do with probate. They don't even want one single penny from the state. They just want to be not included. So you have them waive their right. So that way they're not included in the process. So that's waiver of the right to inheritance that's how you get around that if they don't want to sign the consent for you to be appointed as a personal representative of probate all right okay if you like this video hit the thumbs up if you want to ask questions go ahead and ask and i'll gladly answer the questions and if you want to learn more just go check our website sitesaw.com i'll gladly be able to answer any questions there all right have a good one bye